Everybody just want to work on the feedback here with the, some of the sound, but I just want to, as we do that, just thank each and every one of you for being here today, and, and I just want to thank you all for meeting this moment. And there's an old saying that says, wherever your focus flows, your energy goes. And so the last month, uh, all of you have put your time, your energy into getting to where we are today, and that's the capacity to deliver on a big, big issue. Uh, so often is the case in politics, at least a lot of punditry uh, suggests that we major in the minors uh, and often lose sight of the big picture. Uh, that certainly is not the case as it relates to the two bills that I have the privilege of signing here today. Uh, the issue of evictions, the issue of this moment and the economic anxiety that so many people are struggling and suffering through is the issue. Uh, and we have not lost sight of that. And I just want to thank the leadership in the Assembly, leadership in the Senate, and I'll be introducing just in a moment a pro tem, and pro tem will be introducing the speaker. Uh, and I want to compliment them on their extraordinary leadership, demonstrable leadership, uh, the capacity of their staff uh, to work across the spectrum, working not just with our staff, but with so many of the stakeholders that are here today uh, to get to a place where we had, you know, I think there was just one exception, unanimous support, Democrats and Republicans coming together in the Senate and the Assembly on a big bill. Uh, and that's the way it should be. I mean, it's the way we all would like it to be. So often it's not the case, but it's wonderful when that happens, protecting millions and millions of people, tenants as well as landlords, uh, and addressing their anxiety head on. You know, we did this a year ago. Heck, we did this two years ago with 1482 and the just cause issues. That was big. I don't think another state in the country had done that. We did it last year together, working together in 3088. We're now building on 3088, the nation's strongest, and we could say this objectively, we've done the research, the nation's strongest rental protections. And that's a point of pride at this moment in our nation's history, certainly in the history of this state. And so, again, I, I'm just here with gratitude, humbled by the enormity of the task ahead of us, not naive that good enough ever is. We recognize we have to do more, and we have to continue to support those most vulnerable in this pandemic-induced economy and the recession that we continue to work our way through. But this is a significant moment, not only extending protections that were due to expire this Sunday, extending them through June 30th of this year, but also providing emergency relief, $2.6 billion, drawing down those federal supports. Thank you, Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Thank you for her leadership, uh, making sure that those dollars were here, the $1.5 billion that the state will receive. We're going to get those applications out and done before, we hope, March 15th, but the bills that I'll sign require it before March 15th. We want to see those entitlement jurisdictions that are receiving the other $1.1 billion do the same. We want to make sure we're coordinating, collaborating in terms of the distribution of those funds, leveraging them, and of course that's what this bill does. This bill encourages everybody to participate, including landlords, that 80-20 split. If the landlord decides to take it, got to provide uh, a little bit of relief, that 20%. If the landlord chooses not to, uh, the tenant gets that 25% on the back rent. Have a little utility support, by the way, profoundly important. All of us understand the magnitude of the utility burdens, and that's across the spectrum, not just heat and gas, but obviously uh, related issues, electricity, and obviously water. So this is a really important step forward. And let's sign these bills. And I'm going to just get these things out, move forward with SB 89, SB 91, because we can't sign it soon enough. And uh, again, deep gratitude to everyone that made this happen. Here's SB 89. Official and SB 91. Thank you all for making this happen. We're grateful to each and every one of you. Well done, and the best still is yet to come. More work to do. Thank you, everybody.